Let's bring in someone else who was in Italy just a few days ago and highly recommends it. Johnny Condon safely back in the States covering Bama at SEC Media Days. Ciao, Johnny. Ciao, Jeff, and welcome into the Music City, Nashville, Tennessee, for day number three of SEC Media Days, where Nick Saban and his Alabama Crimson Tide rolled into town. And do I dare say that maybe this year in 2023, well, Alabama enters the season maybe a tad under the radar. And, well, when it comes to Tuscaloosa, there's a quarterback situation, no doubt about it. No more Bryce Young. So who takes the baton as QB1 in T-Town? Well, maybe it's last year's backup Jalen Milrow, who showed some promise last season in games against Arkansas and Texas A&M. Maybe it's going to be five-star prospect Ty Simpson, who enters his sophomore season, a player with all the physical tools, but struggled at times in this past spring game. And then there's the wild card. Notre Dame transfer Tyler Buckner, who already has a prior relationship with new offensive coordinator Tommy Reese, a player the Tide went out and brought in after spring ball. So when it comes to who ultimately starts, well, Saban isn't rushing the decision. After all, patience is a virtue. Grandma Saban used to bake the best cakes in the world. And I used to stand by the oven when I was a kid and say, when's this cake going to be done? When's this cake going to be done? And she said, if I don't let it go through and take it out of the oven too soon, it's going to turn to mush, so it won't be a really good cake. So I think we got to let this sort of develop uh, and make sure we let the cake bake until somebody separates themselves. As far as the quarterback room goes, this is competition. Everybody's competing. Um, they know it's up for grabs for anybody, so um, they're doing what they have to do to succeed. Coaching quarterbacks and baking cakes. Hey, when it comes to Nick Saban at SEC Media Days, we're always good for at least one good quote. But speaking of cakes, you know what would be the icing on the cake, Jeff? The Tide returning to the college football playoff because, as you know, Jeff, quarterbacks change in Tuscaloosa. But what does not? Expectations, where it always remains national title or bust. But for now, in Nashville, I'm Johnny Condon, ABC 3340 Sports. All right, thanks, Johnny. Today's Saban also talking.